Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the Red Wigglers. Oh, uh, this is the Red Wiggler only bin. Oops. So, I did have the lid on them for a little bit. Um, now they're all crawling and being crazy. I know it's counterproductive sometimes to put the lid on. But when I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of harvest and stuff, I don't want to take a chance of me flinging cocoons or something else that is not red worms into the red worm bin. So, I uh, made my own aggravation there. But let's take a look at them and see what they're doing. Now, I did promise you guys that I would tell you how many there were. And, uh,. I think everybody, including me, probably had a uh, visions of grandeur for these worms. Um, there is actually 2.5 pounds of worms in here. So I know the camera cut out while I was doing my weighing, which was super unfortunate. But um, yeah, two and a half pounds of worms. And as soon as I can get another bin started, then I'll split these guys in half, if not in three, so that they can uh, spread out and make me more red worms. So for right now, let's just give them some food. Let's feed down the middle this time. So I have a lot of new bins right now um, that haven't, you know, obviously the bedding is very new, so we can probably go a little heavier on the food because there's going to be stuff to absorb it. Right. I'm not leaving all that food in there for everybody who's like, oh my god. No, not leaving it all in there. But I was trying to get all of the liquid out. I think I will take out some of the bigger stuff. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a little too much. Alright, well I'm just going to have to put in a bunch of bedding. Because right now that's... I mean there are two and a half pounds of worms in here, so conceivably this is not too much of a feeding. That was probably a pound and a half of food. But it's not that big of a bin, and I am going to mix this up because I think those cherries had started to liquefy. Um, so let me go grab some coconut pour. Yeah, I don't have any prepared bedding downstairs right now, so I'm just going to have to supplement with some coconut coir. And Normally I'm not this generous with the coconut coir because it is something that I purchase and I try not to do that with my bins um, but I did just get two uh, five kilo bricks in the mail the other day so I'm not feeling super stingy about it um, and I want to make sure we don't get too wet the humidity in the basement is probably running 75 percent right now because of all the rain all right that should help and I'll probably go grab some uh, regular paper bedding from upstairs to add on top of this as well. And then maybe I can just split the bins uh, just right from this and divide it up. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, was that too much food? I kind of felt like I was teetering on the edge of too much food there. But there are two and a half pounds of worms in here. So let me know your thoughts on that. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.